Okay, there we go. Um, it's, that's better. It's, a bit, it's got a bit more blue in it. I, I think it's a bit bright, um, but I, I think really that the, the um, it would be more useful to to tweak that when the uh, when I've got the trees and the rocks and the sea in it. It'll, it'll give me more of an idea of um, how it compares to all the other colours, tones, and shades in the image. So I'm going to leave that for now and um, bear in mind that I can come back. Um, I can come back into my material here. I can go to the grass color correction to to quickly alter that I can make it darker or brighter here and and, and um, just shift the uh, hue a little there and I can do exactly the same for the sand as well uh, if I change the sand it's an instance of of the um, the sand on the beach so that's all set up quite nicely there right now this would be uh, a good time to save the file so I'm going to go to file I'm just going to save it. I'm just going to save as Master Scene 01. Okay, so just a few more things to uh, work on on this texture for this object here um, before we move on to something else. And uh, so, whilst I remember, I'm just going to alter um, this grass a little bit more. I'm going to go to the color correction level here. I want to desaturate it a bit up to about there and I still think it's a bit light so I'm going to take that down to 0.4 and I'm going to bring the sand down a little bit as well just so it's not too much contrast there um, now the top of the um, landscape here this is a road with a driveway coming down um, and we need to uh, we need to texture that and um, I've chosen a gravel texture for that, I want to put a gravel texture in. Um, I think if I had a bit more time, I might put um, tarmac for the road and, and transition that over to to some gravel. But um, I, I, we're just going to put gravel in today. That's going to be fine. Um, so the way to do that is to bring up our material map navigator, and uh, I did try and do some of this with the um, the new material slate editor. And uh, which I quite like. I'm still I'm still forcing myself to um, to get used to using it. Um, I didn't I didn't really have enough space on the screen to use it very well. And plus, I to be honest, I'd be fumbling through it a little bit. So I've, I've stuck with the old. Uh, I've stuck with <laughs> what I've been using for the past seven years, and um, uh, I do pretty good with it. I'm, I know my way around it now. So to um, put in uh, the gravel, we want to put it in. Um, at this level here, the mix, um, basically it's the the beach, um, sorry not the beach, the hill part of the landscape here and uh, we want it to sit on top of any, any gravel, we want it to sit on top of the sand uh, and the grass here. So we're going to put another mix in here and we're going to keep the old map as a sub map. And we're going to change the name to um, mix in some gravel. Um, so I'm going to put the gravel in in a color two here. So I'm going to click on none, put a color correction in. bitmap I'm going to use for this is again it's in the uh, project folder and it's called gravel diffuse O2 and it's uh, just a bitmap of some pea gravel uh, just what's the scale let's have another look at that um, I'd say that's at about five meters or something like that we might have to I have to change that, um, but that's that. And to mix that in, we're going to use the the new viewport canvas um, tools to do that to to create a mix map in there. And we're going to stick it into this uh, mix amount here. Um, so we'll close that down, and we'll get a good view of this. I'll hide everything else. I think that's going to be a good, a good um, style to do it in. So 
go to tools and we'll go down here to viewport canvas and uh, I want to um, paint and now we've got to find got to find in that color mix in gravel and it's this mix amount here so I'll click on that we don't need a particularly high resolution but I'll say 1024 and we need to give it a name so I'll save it in the house by C project folder I'll call it um, gravel mix map um, I'm going to save it as a JPEG to keep all these file sizes down but I wouldn't normally, I'd normally be saving all these as bitmaps or targets uh, and that's fine right, the first thing we need to do is uh, for this just change this um, uh, mapping here from real world so we can paint on it nicely um, I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to paint on this uh, new layer up here I'm going to paint um, it doesn't really matter which way around I put it I suppose I'm going to start off painting black so I want to paint the um, the road and the gravel drive black way uh, sorry black right let's just zoom in and I'm using a little uh, Wacom bamboo here Okay, I think that's going to do, that's going to be fine. Uh, I don't really have a con consistent edge on there because I painted this bit here at a, when I was zoomed out, but I'm not going to worry about that today. Um, but what I am going to do is uh, I'm just going to put another layer on. Um, actually, I'm just going to fill in on this layer here, background, uh, and I'm going to fill that in white. That gives me a um, uh, a black white mix map there so we can close that and I'm going to uh, I don't really need the um, PSD file I'm just going to flatten the layers and save it as a current texture there and uh, whilst I remember I'm going to go back and change that real world map size back um, go to the uh, just, just close this dialog box seem to adopt that without wanting to hang on and close it go to the material editor let's make sure that's at the right size so it's 90 there we go a bit messy there if you've got some more time to do that a bit more carefully but there we go um, so let's move up so that's that's going to mix between the um, uh, the uh, 
uh, sorry, the sand and the um, the driveway. And I, I think I've again, I think I've mixed those up. Let's just quickly see what's happening. Yeah, and I've done that again. We can close that. Uh, and I'm just going to swap these maps here. So I'm going to drag that one there and ask Max to swap them. Let's have another quick look at that. That's better here. Okay. Um, okay, so I was quite happy with that. I think the gravel is tiling a bit. Um, so that's the last thing we're going to do um, on this on this object, this terrain object here. Let's just fix that quickly. And um, if we go into it, first off, let's give it a name so we know what we're doing. And uh, I'm simply going to uh, mix a copy of itself um, on top of it. Um, so I'll choose um, another mix map here. And I'll keep the old map. I'm going to copy it down. I'm just going to mix in perhaps 30. Let's see what that does. And I'm going to make this much bigger. I'm not sure why I chose 44, but there you go. It's as good a number as any. Uh, but the important thing is that it's a larger a larger map. Um, so we'll just go and have a quick look and see what that's doing when we're zoomed in a bit more here. And if, if you want to check something like this quickly, with V-Ray anyway, you can uh, just choose a region render in the frame buffer. Okay, there we go. You can see at the uh, difference in the edges there between um, on the mask. I, I, I th it's the sort of thing that annoys me. So I, if I had time, I probably would go back and fix that. Um, but that gravel there is, you know, I think that's fine. Um, uh, when you're when you're zoomed out, it's gonna, you know, I can't see. It doesn't look. I can't see any noticeable tiling. And I think when we're closer in, you'll see that it's um, uh, the other map will come through. Perhaps. Perhaps the large map was a little strong there. That's just one of those things where you'll have to decide um, which look you like there. Um, so really, we're done with this now. Um, the next thing we, the next thing we're going to look at, and I'm conscious of how much time I'm taking here, but the next thing I want to look at is um, scattering a few rocks around here and uh, putting some ocean in. Uh, Put it, putting a, um, some water in there and getting the uh, ocean and the rocks and the beach to interact procedurally.